Hey everyone, it's Monique Renewed. Welcome back to another video. So this week's video is going to be a teen advice video and it's how to deal with friends who are bad influences. Now I know a lot of teenagers may struggle with this. I know I did when I was a teenager and it's hard to grow a backbone and to say no, especially to your friends, even to strangers sometimes. Let's get into it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Monique. I make faith videos, lifestyle videos, and advice videos. So if you like that, be sure to subscribe down below. I would love to have you join the fam. So yeah, so I've been binge watching a lot of like how to catch a cheater type videos and stuff like that where somebody's boyfriend or girlfriend suspects that their partner might not be faithful. So they set them up and try to have like a decoy, pressure them to do things that they know they should not be doing. So it made me realize that people are very, 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 is very really <laughs> It made me realize that people are easily influenced and easily impressionable. That's just human nature. Like we see something that somebody's doing and we want to do it too. That is the power of influence. But not all influence is good influence, especially when you're like in middle school and high school. Bad influences can get you to do things that can change like the trajectory of your life. Not even kidding. So for example, when Adam and Eve, I'm taking it way back to the beginning, <laughs> when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden and Satan came along as a her to influence Eve to take a bite of that apple. She knew daggone well that God said no. Eve repeated that God said no and Satan was like, come on, just, you know, take a bite. Look how it looks all shiny. And God didn't really mean that. And you know, you'll gain all this wisdom. And she ate the apple and here we are today. <laughs> But what I'm trying to explain is that like, we could know in our heart that we're not supposed to do something, but with a little bit more push and a little bit more convincing, we will fall into that trap and start acting a certain way, doing certain things that we, we know is not good for us. It takes being very strong willed and confident in order to say no to somebody, especially somebody that you think of as your friend. You know, you don't really want to say no to your friends. You want to, you know, do things that they're doing, whatever the case may be. So it's kind of hard to say no especially if you're like a pleasing people type of person like you're scared to say no to people like you just want to always say yes and I have people pleasing tendencies too sometimes I'll say yes when I really mean no and this is something that I'm working on in myself if you grew up in a household where like saying no or disagreeing or like standing up for yourself would often receive like a lot of backlash then you can bring that into your adulthood and become like a people pleasing person even when you don't really mean to but if you think about it like this in your life throughout your whole life there's always going to be somebody that's going to try to convince you to do something that's never going to end that's never going to stop so it is best to learn now while you're young and keep practicing over and over again so that you know that uncomfortable feeling that you feel when you tell somebody no that like goes away after a while like after a while you don't care and you start to think about yourself more and not in a selfish way but in a sense that you know what I care about my future and what path this could lead me on so it's better to be uncomfortable now for a few minutes rather than to suffer the consequences later for a lifetime and most of the times your friends are trying to influence you to do things like bad things just because they don't want to do it by themselves so they need somebody to tag along to do it with them so that when they do get in trouble you get in trouble with them too so you really have nobody to blame but yourself when those consequences are laid out you know you'll find that they won't even vouch for you when y'all do get in trouble they'll they'll let you take the blame for it so let's get into into it my first tip tip number one is to have a firm and confident no when you do say no so if your friends say hey let's go out and do these drugs let's go out to a party that you know your parents told you not to go to you need to stand firm in your no a maybe or i'll think about it we love to say i'll think about it i think when re you really mean no but we say i'll think about it in order to say, you know how to drag it on a little bit but you need to say no the first time and even when you say no they'll still try to convince you even more afterwards and you need to stay firm in that no obviously you love your friends and you know you don't want to hurt their feelings but if they don't have your best interests at heart 
apart are they really like your real friends just think about that so once you get in the habit of saying no and being firm and direct and not letting people convince you otherwise people will get tired of asking you because they already know you're gonna say no so they'll start to ask you less and less about certain things because they already know oh she's not gonna do that so ain't no point of asking her but if you always say yes to something all the time that makes you an easy target for people to continuously ask you so they'll if you keep saying yes they know next time you'll probably say yes too and you know you'll be taken advantage of say no and be firm in that no and then keep practicing that no and then eventually they'll stop asking tip number two i mentioned a little bit earlier stop being a people pleaser so what i mean about this um that i touched on is can't be afraid of what people might think of you or people getting mad at you because you don't want to do certain things you have to stop caring after a while one thing that my sister told me that really stuck to me was that yeah you don't want this person to be mad at you later because you don't agree with a certain thing but you're gonna be mad at yourself when you do agree to do it so that just always like stuck in my mind like wow she's right like i will be mad at me at the end of the day so you need to stop compromising yourself and just be your authentic self that god made you to be and you don't have to worry about pleasing nobody else but god so i have a little <laughs> story about my people pleasing tendencies so i was at a restaurant with my husband and the waiter brought out a soda and the soda was completely flat and disgusting okay so i told the waiter the so this soda is kind of flat and he brought me another one and he said go ahead and taste it just to make sure you know it's okay or whatever and i tasted it the soda was still flat <laughs> okay but you know what i did i said yeah it's fine it's good thank you and my husband looked at me he was like the soda is still flat isn't it <laughs> And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking like, what is wrong with me? Why do I, it's such a habit that I formed, like that I, I'm trying so hard to break, but it's so hard to break these habits. I will rather just suffer and just say, yes, everything's okay. Rather than, you know, speaking my truth and saying, you know what, the soda's flat again. How about you bring me another soda? Like, why do I think about these things at that moment? But I think about it afterwards. I don't know if you're like that, but I'm like that all the time. Like I'll say yes, even though like, I really mean like, no. <laughs> But yeah, God does not call us to be timid, which is what it is. It really is timidity. Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven, where it says, God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and self-discipline. That is so true. Like you really need self-discipline in order to learn not to be timid and not to be like scary like that. You know, we have the power to a certain extent to control what happens to us, but sometimes we relinquish our power and give it to other people and let them have their way with our life. And then we get mad at the result. Like it makes no sense if you think about it so tip number three is that everything that shimmers is not gold so what i mean by that is your friends or whoever might try to influence you hey let's go do this or something that you know isn't right and it seems appealing at first like it seems fun at first but then later on you realize no this was not okay i should not be doing this and you know these fleeting pleasures are not worth it in the long run every single thing that you do you know catches up to you whether good or bad and it might not be immediate but in the long run it does really catch up to you you know your life right now is the totality of every decision you ever made that led you to this path that you're on right now every good and bad decision so sometimes we have in our head that something might turn out one way but it turns out completely different than what we thought and you know it, it's like instant regret so don't let anybody rush you to do certain things or force you to do certain things you know that are within your control that you know is not right and an added benefit as believers we also have the holy spirit to give us discernment on certain things you know certain decisions whether right or wrong if we should go towards that path or not like obviously we have human reasoning as well but we also have the holy spirit for things that we don't know to guide us and people really make it seem like like you're missing out on something so great if you don't do it it doesn't even have to be that extreme okay but just know when you say no don't feel like you're missing out on something so great like that fear of missing out that is so real and that is like satan's number one deception like having you fear that you're missing out on something when it's like no if you just wait on god be patient on god listen to him he will give you everything that you need in the right time and you won't be missing out on anything good okay now as far as your friends are concerned you have to pay attention to the red flags when they first appear because people will show you who they really are but it's up to you to take action with um what to do with that information if you have to stop hanging out with a person because they are a completely negative influence on your life then so be it set those boundaries because you will regret it later on if they lead you to a path that you did not even mean to go down yeah red flags 
if you're constantly getting in trouble just by hanging around this person because of the association that's a red flag another red flag if this person is like really gossipy and they're always talking about like maybe your other friends most likely they're probably talking about you too like so if they're not for your betterment and they're taking you down this bad path then most likely you have to think about are they really your friend then they're probably not really your friend and you probably have to distance yourself little by little and just not even associate with them as harsh as that might seem like it'll be for your benefit in the long run like i remember i had this one friend in, in school and there were some things that i would tell her in private and then i would come back to school the next day and like everybody knew about it i'm just like wait a minute i told you and now everybody knows and how do they know like i'm confusion and so when i would confront her about it she like try to make it seem like it's not a big deal and then like that was one red flag another red flag um as the years went on like the type of people she would hang around with were kind of sketch um uh, like you have to examine your friends group of friends like their group of friends that they hang out with because that will give you like an indication of the type of person that they might be because what they what that saying is true like you're like the sum of the group of people that you hang out with right so take a look at who they hang out with and you know see if that's your type of vibe if that's your type of people if not that might be like a red flag so that is it you guys that is my tips for how to deal with friends who are a bad influence be sure to subscribe down below for more videos and yeah i will catch you guys next time bye so if you know that scripture second timothy verse hey what do teenagers be doing nowadays what skip school drink